Hey! Yes. So I have the AMC A-List membership. It's a subscription service where for $19.95 a week, I get up to three movie tickets a week for free. Uh, free being, uh, depending on how you look at it. Anyway, from December 2018 to March 2020, I saw 177 movies in a 66-week period. And the pandemic... Uh, done messed that all up for me, but now I'm back in movie theaters, and so it's time for some up-to-date movie reviews with Steve Stubbs of the Week! Thank you. This installment of Steve Stubbs represents my 12th week back in movie theaters, and in that time I have seen 22 movies. I was going to see two movies this week, uh, as has been my plan, but my entire week has gone to shit. And so I only ended up seeing two movies in theaters. I was going to see the James Wan horror movie Malignant and the Gerard Butler crime comedy Cop Shop, but I only ended up seeing Malignant. But uh, first, I would like to discuss the movie not chosen as my movie pick of the week because I didn't even go see it but uh, I was going to see the movie Cop Shop I saw a preview for it uh, last week and it was the first time I had ever heard of this movie and it's like it, it, what it seems like to me is that remember when we were balls deep in the pandemic and they were trying to release movies in theaters, but it just wasn't working out. Like, oh, hey, yeah. here's The War with Grandpa, you know? And then, and then Christopher Nolan came around, and he's like, don't worry. My movie Tenet is going to destroy the coronavirus. Yes. And stop all deaths and get America back open. And everything will be fine because my movie Tenet is here. And and so there was that period in time during 2020 where the movies that they were releasing were all just kind of shit, you know, because because yeah. most movie theaters were closed. And so it, it, it seemed to be a time for studios to sort of like, oh, well, we were going to release this James Bond film. We can't release it now, but hey, you know what we can't release? All of the movies that we didn't want to release because we knew they were going to bomb. And so, I don't... I, suddenly, Gerard Butler has a crime comedy where he's a hitman, and the person he's trying to, to put a hit on is in jail. So Gerard Butler, the hitman... Uh, does some crime so he can go to jail. So he's in the jail right next to the guy he's going to kill, and it's wacky. It seems like the type of film that they would release in 1997 and 98 and 99, back when Quentin Tarantino made Pulp Fiction and it was such a, a, a big movie that everyone was trying to release crime, comedy, drama shit, you know? Yeah. Destiny turns on the radio, things to do in Denver when you're dead, Suicide Kings. Um, I could keep going, but yes, it, that's that's what Cop Shop seems to be. It just snuck into theaters, and I I was going to go see it because like I don't know, it, it it seems like it might be shit, but it might be fun. Then uh, a family member got. A, a uh, auntie got COVID. Yes. And uh, my wife and one of my children had gone to their house the day before they got tested and found out they had COVID. So we have been uh, quarantining and staying in the house and the internet's off and everything sucks and yeah. have we have uh two dogs in the house right now and four cats 
I'm allergic to all of it. And, and, and it, we've got four different litter boxes, but these cats just did. It, it, they, they take everything personally. And it's like, Hey, I want to go into mom's room. I want to go into mom's room. I want to go into mom's room. Meow. Fine. I'm going to just shit in the hallway. And so it like, it, yeah, my week has been shit, so I didn't go yeah. see Cop Shop. So that means that the Steve Stubbs pick of the week is the James Wan horror movie Malignant. Yes. Okay, first off, the... Uh, okay, I lost interest as soon as I found out Angelina Jolie wasn't in it. Okay. Um, it's shit, but, but it's such shit that I kind of love it. Okay. There is a twist about 70% of the way into the movie when you finally realize who the killer is that's responsible for everything. Yeah. It's such a twist. It, the twist is so jaw-droppingly fucking stupid. Okay. That I remember screaming a little bit in the theater. Not screaming because I'm scared, but screaming like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, it's such a dumb, stupid, ridiculous, nonsensical twist that it's like, you're almost impressed, you know? Like, 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 the balls on James Wan to, to, to think... This is my movie. Yeah. It it's one of those it it kind of reminded me of Serenity. Remember the twist of Serenity yes. with Matthew McConaughey on the boat. The bad in Serenity, the mysterious not island. The good Serenity. Full of, yeah, in the mysterious island full of NPCs. Yes. Like that is such a ridiculous twist. And Malignant is right up there. And it... The movie was so ridiculously dumb that the first thing I thought of is, okay, when are we doing this for the podcast? That was the first thought. Okay. And then the second thought was, once I got home, I immediately downloaded the film and put it on our hard drive, which is connected to our TV, so that everyone else in the house can get a chance to see it. It's it's a dumb, stupid movie, but it's so dumb and stupid that I just want everyone to see it so we yes. can talk about it together. And that doesn't happen a lot. It rem You know... This film is right up there with Boot the Mapping Sequence, Ed. <laughs> you know? It's, it's so... It's so dumb. Malignant is so dumb. And plus, it's like, oh, there's a woman. She has a mysterious past. She's haunted by these visions. She's watching murders happen as they happen. She's watching murders that are occurring as they're happening. She's seeing them as visions. Oh, gee, uh, I wonder who's responsible for this. Okay, that's the plot. Okay, that's the plot of the movie. But also, it's two hours long for an hour and a half of plot, you know? Okay. This movie really is, like, like it's a horror movie, but they don't have a lot it, as far as horror so a lot of the scenes of, of like, uh, a murder's going to happen. Okay, but we're going to need to see this murderer getting to the house and getting undressed and turning on all the lights and going through the house. And what? I hear a noise. I better check every room slowly. A lot of the, the scenes are just padded out, 
you know? Yeah. But the first vision doesn't happen until like 45 minutes into the film, and it's like, God damn, we, like, we've, we've all seen the previews. We know the plot. That's why we went to go see the movie. Why are you waiting so long for the plot to happen? Plus, the stars of it all look like they are clones of other people. Oh, nice. The, the cop who's trying to get to the bottom of this, he looks a lot like a Tom Cavanaugh, like the bad guy from, like, the Flash TV show. He yeah. was also in something else. I, I think the TV show, Ed? Uh, and then his partner is definitely a character written for Wanda Sykes, but they couldn't get her, so they gave it to another black woman and say, hey, be sassy and black and look just like Wanda Sykes. And then the woman who's having visions has a sister, and I swear to God, she is like a Florence Pugh's evil twin. Yeah. Yeah. So the entire movie feels like you bought a horror film from Wish.com. Yes, yes, exactly. So it's, it's not a good movie. It's bad, but it's so bad that, like, it's one of those films where if I'm watching it late at night with Natasha and we are a little bit high and we've got, like, a 12-pack, this will be the greatest movie of all time. Yes. You know, it all depends on how you see it. If I was seeing this with a group of friends, oh, yeah, this would be a great film to just pick apart and laugh at. And then okay. that twist, okay. and then that twist is just jaw-droppingly fucking stupid. <laughs> it's so incredibly stupid that you're almost like, hey, uh... This was dumb, but Jesus, the balls on James Wan. James Wan has such big balls for making the movie Malignant that I'm starting to think that James Wan is Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend. That's how big yes. of balls James Wan has for making such a ridiculous movie as Malignant. Anyway. I, I, I don't know why we're still talking about her. I, and I'm and that makes me sad as a country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend is the number one news story in America. Okay. And and then in like, where's the cousin from? Like Trinidad or some? Yeah. Some shit. It's like, is your cousin also a Nigerian prince that wants you to wire him money? And we had to have the fucking Prime Minister of Trinidad get on television yeah. saying, no, this is not true. Yeah. Your balls will be fine. <laughs> our, our, we, have a, we live in a strange nation, you know? Yes. We live in a strange-ass nation. Anyway... That's it for Steve's Stubbs this week. Next week, I'm going to try and go back and watch two actual movies in theaters. I might go see Shang-Chi again, because that was a lot of fun. Anyway, join us next week for more up-to-date movie reviews with Steve's Stubbs of the Week. And cut on that.